in order to understand this. In order to understand these ponies, you're going to have to venture beyond Equestria into a smoke-filled world of Equinox. Its ruler was Queen Black Hole, who has covered this place with a mutagenic smoke. While its effects are in lethal, it corrupts any pony who breathes it and triggers it with an extreme motion or stress. These ponies don't look like the everyday typical ponies of Equestria. And as a side note, also aren't related to those ponies you know and love in any way possible. Dimstar, the Equinox counterpart of Equestria's Twilight Sparkle. She's obsessed with black and white magic. Her only desire is to serve Queen Black Hole. She did various experiments, like reviving dead ponies, giving another rockets and artificial wings, and did a favor for one. But we'll talk about that later. Rod Bunch, Applejack's counterpart. She likes to be alone. She often visits the village to see what's going on. She's really dead, died a few years ago, but was revived by Dimstar in one of her experiments to give life to dead ponies. However, Rod Bunch was too smart to be a quote-unquote zombie. So Dimstar stopped her living experiments, and Rod Bunch lives alone in a dead farm. Dull Sloth, Rainbow Dash's counterpart. She lost her wings in a catastrophic incident, so Dimstar gave her rockets and artificial wings. Stone, the Equinox answer for rarity, only she doesn't do dresses. She turns whoever her three eyes sees into stone, which is why on sometimes she'd be seen wearing a cloth over those three eyes. She's similar to the Gorgon of Greek mythology, you should know. One of the infamous ones was Medusa. Spiderlock, their animal-loving Fluttershy. But at the point of the obsession, she wanted to become an animal. She asked Dimstar for a transformation spell, but Dim made a mistake and gave her a variety of Parasprite. One night this Parasprite began to grow quickly, its legs tearing through her skin and growing out antenna, jaws, and even morphing one eye. But since this Parasprite needs it alive, host to survive, those two made a symbiosis with the unlucky pony. And finally, Zoggy Cake. It's Pinkie Pie, only she's not into parties. She's a pony of jokes, but she can make jokes that can hurt other ponies, and she doesn't care about it. In fact, she thinks they're getting hurt makes those jokes even more funny. But when she's depressed, she becomes Zagressa, where her corruption takes her mind completely over and makes her very dangerous. If you disturb her depression, that's a death wish. The best thing to do when such a thing happens is lock her in a house until she becomes her normal self. And now we begin with Ask the Equinox Ponies. Chibi Sully, to Zoggy Cake. I love you. Hug me. Okay, my question. Have you ever heard it someone with a joke that they even cried? Sorry, bad English. Vicky used to have an idea of an annoying failure candy mark. She was so happy she cried, screamed, and even twisted out of excitement. So, Zoggy, is Pinkie Pie a blood relative of yours? So, Rodden Bunch, do you and the others think Zoggy's getting all the attention? We don't normally worry about that kind of things, you know. But we fear that the people will forget about us. And then we will be in that dark hole where the forgotten ponies live. Please don't forget about us. So, Stone, do you have the power to turn people into stone, like Medusa? Well, of course. But I won't use it unless you step into my garden. Hi, Spiderlock. How's life going? Well, I'm having a pretty good life with my animals. Sometimes it's hard to live with this pair of sprite inside of me. I think I can live with that. The only problem here is that the other ponies are afraid of me. I just, I just want them to meet my friends. 
Hopefully this bear sprite doesn't get hungry in time and- <laughs> Is it wrong that you remind me of a revised auditor from Madness Combat? Uh, he just turned on the light. Dear Zoggy, do you have a boyfriend? These two are asking you out. How do you respond, Zoggy? I'd rather prefer tearing off my key more than my capable you guys. To Dim Star, why did you use a Parasprite to mix with Spider Lock? Why not just a spider? <coughs> TF2 Scout, Zoggy, can you join in the red team? We need a creepy spy to scare a lot of bitches of blue team. Bitches from Team what? <laughs> Dear Rotten Bunch, do you love apples as much as I do? Ew. Apples. A question to Zoggy's alter ego Zogressa. What if someone gives you an unlimited supply of candies and sweets? Will you stop your murdering wishes or will it not be enough? <laughs> Hey Zoggy, what's with your cutie mark? Or whatever you call her. I have no idea. But if you have something sweet, I can take it out of your hands. Question for Zoggy Cake. Her most favorite thing in the world. Frosting Tip loves my sharp personality. I love telling jokes. It's so much fun. So, Rotten Bunch, how about we play Left for Dead? Prepare your tears. I like your smile, Dim Star. May I see it? See you, kid. <laughs> One of the people who asked Zoggy out is still asking. I still want a dinner with you. If you say no again, I'll still bother you. P.S. You can't kill me because I'm already dead. As long as you're buying the dinner, then yes, I'll be with you. Zoggy Cake, here's three ponies in a body bag, still living, for a gift to you. Oh, thank you so much. This is so nice of you. Happy holidays, everybody. Zoggy, you look so cute when you smile. What do you look like when you smile when you're Zalgressa? Yes, like to stone, would wearing special contact lens or sunglasses stop your petrifying stare? I mean, everybody should get to see your pretty eyes. Do you like it? To dull sloth, what's it like not being able to fly? The bug are you talking about? To Rotten Bunch, who are you enemies with? Can you guess? We'll deal with her later. Spirelock, how about a hug? <coughs> Zoggy, you're sick, you're twisted, and I just want to say I love you for it. This isn't a question I know, it's a statement, but I need to say it. <sighs> you. <laughs> Zoggy, your thoughts on Sopa? Okay. That Zala girl took it. Zala.